<laughs> the process is just one of those things where it's tough to accept and it's tough to trust. It's like my friend here, Spencer. I mean, <laughs> look, yeah, sure, you know, he's a, he's a good bud, but like, to put the trust in him, you know, it's a whole different thing, and that's just like the process, you know, so. <laughs> fuck, I don't know what I'm trying to say. God damn. Feels right. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another sit-down episode of the Athlete Special where I talk about random running stuff that you guys kind of think is kind of interesting. <laughs> I shouldn't be that hard on myself. But today, I think that it is an important time of the year and an important time in my life and just the lives of people around me to talk a little bit about the process of running. Um, so basically what I want to do in this video is kind of break down what the process even really means and you know how like your coach is always like hey trust the process trust the process um, and you kind of just walk away from that conversation like what do you even mean by that so I'm gonna be here to try and help you understand what the process is why you should want to keep motivating yourself to keep running and I really think this video is gonna dig deep into Sort of that mental aspect of running, so buckle up. Quickly though, before I get any further into this video, I really want to plug the podcast with Ray Rivera. It's called the Athlete Special Podcast. Link is down below. It's so much fun. We do it every Wednesday. So the latest episode just came out. So watch the pot, or <laughs> listen to the podcast. It's on Spotify, uh, Apple Music. It's on a bunch of different things, which is cool. So listen to the podcast. It's a great, great way to know more about me. <laughs> So, what is the process? I have no idea. <laughs> no, but actually, like, it's something so much more than just uh, a saying, I guess you could say. First, let me start by saying, when you are in a state in running where you are either struggling or you're not enjoying it, the first thing you need to do is find what motivates you to run. Just find that one thing. It might be a couple things, but really center yourself around that one thing that makes you want to run faster. Um, for me, it's getting a good PR. That's just a quick example. And you know, for some people it might be for their family, it might be to help their mental health. It could be, um, I don't know, just, just something unique, but you need to find why you are doing the sport first. So find your why. That's the first step, in my opinion, of the process. Once you find your why, your reason for once you find your why, your reason for why you are doing the sport, it makes it a lot easier to understand and unravel how to deal with the process and how to you know flow with it. The next step is to throw away the time goals that you have and. You can still have them, but don't center yourself around the time goals you have. The process is all about getting better over a period of time through consistent training, consistent workouts, being healthy, and most importantly, keeping your mental head on at all times. It is absolutely crucial in the next step of the process to Stay as even keeled in your training as you possibly can. And that means not getting too high after a good moment and too low after a bad moment. It's so, so, so important to always remain even keeled because once you go too low and you dip too low, then it's really hard to pull yourself out of that rut. So I think it's really important after a bad workout or after a bad race to just maybe you get you have a rule. You, you give yourself two hours to think about it and be pissed about it. And then no matter what, you have to kind of let that go. And it's so much easier said than done. I mean, if it was that easy, I think we'd all be Olympians. So it's, it's a lot easier said than done to just forget about bad races, bad workouts. But that is so, so crucial in terms of trying to help better yourself over an extended period of time. 
So I talked a little bit about how time goals should not be your primary goal, which I mean, you can still have them in the bank for, for goals, but I've talked about this in videos in the past, but if you are defining yourself by the time you run, it's, it's just bad for your mental health. And then it spirals from there. If you're, if you're, if your mental health isn't there, then your running is just going to go down the drain. Guys, had to get some coffee for this next part of this process talk. This right here, in my opinion, the most important step slash aspect of the process, and it's that annoying term, trust of the process, but just break down the word trust. You have to trust everything you're doing in the sense of your training, your racing, and all that. You can't be looking at things in a small term mindset goal. So let me give you a quick example. Um, this last weekend, I had a race. I ran 151 in the 800. For me, that was probably on the lower end of what I would have liked to do. I wasn't super happy with it, but instead of pouting, instead of being upset about it, instead of questioning my training, I'm trusting the process, I'm trusting the training that in a month from now, that type of effort is going to pay off. I was a little bit tired going into the meet. We had been training hard going in. So there's reasons for why uh, it wasn't the fastest, best effort out there. So that's just a small example of like having to trust the process and trust your coach and trusting everything. Trust, trust, trust is almost the link to making the process work because you can't, the process is not going to be successful if you have no trust in it. You need to have that trust and it's not a short term trust. You need to trust, <laughs> I've said trust so many times, you need to trust your long term progression. And if you can do that, then I really think that uh, you can be successful. So uh, quickly comment down below if this, any of this has made any sense. I'm kind of just speaking out my butt right now, but uh, I think this is an important video to make. Um, so with that guys, I really don't have anything else to say with the process, just that's sort of it when you break it down. If you want to comment down below, I'm going to be answering questions on this video as much as I can. So. Comment down below anything you have to say. If you're still listening to this video, wish me a happy birthday, even though it's not my birthday. <laughs> it's really not that funny, but I'm getting, uh, I'm, I'm not creative right now, so fuck. All right, see you guys later. <laughs>